Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, March 29th. Time right now in Singapore is 1 15 in the afternoon. Today's recording is a little bit late because I just got back last night very, very, uh, very late. And I put a recap in time this morning. Uh, my apology. So, anyway, let's do a recap. Hardly anything happened over on Wall Street overnight. We can see prices are in US equities continue to attempt to trade higher. We can basically see a possible uh, unfolding of a three wave technical rally back to about 33,139 to about 33,040. So, this area is an area of vulnerability. But before the market will go up there, I think we still have a possibility the market first edge lower. But I think the lower it range of 22,000. 32,000 to 32,185 is a area of buying opportunity. So if the prices do come back into this area, that should give us some decent buying opportunity for an attempt to try 37. Uh, basically, I was short going into yesterday's session, and uh, yesterday midday, I decided that I want nothing to do with US equity, so I covered back all my short positions. So before the market had to be found, so I had the good and uh, I bought back near the bottom. If over in the S&P 500, we also see the same basic structure. The market may be attempting to go higher, but first, the market has gone into this bracket of prices. At the lowest point yesterday, the market went up to 3,951, which is the low point here, and this bracket of prices, a very narrow band of prices between 3,941 uh, 45 uh, to 3,956 area. I think it's an area of opportunity. The market may actually stage a rally all the way to take up 4,078, maybe to as high as 4,140 to 4,195. So this is again uh, potentially a short-term rally here to fulfill this potential three-way technical rebound. Okay? So do watch out for this uh, possibility here. Over in the NASDAQ 100, you can see that the prices are actually traded a new high last week on Thursday at 12,943. And since then, the market has not been able to charge any more, any more new highs. In fact, the price has been pulling back. But I think the near-term support is deciding somewhere near the low here of 12,400. So if the market does test this area and cannot close below, and I think that will present another buying opportunity. But again, uh, whether the market can go to a new high in the NASDAQ 100 will be seen. But if the Dow and the S&P 500 wants to rally, maybe it will take NASDAQ 100 along for the right. So do watch out for this possibility here. Over in Asia, we can see that Nikkei basically continues to uh, charge higher. Uh, of course, uh, Wall Street uh, relative performance over the last 48 hours has given uh, Nikkei player a little bit of optimism. The market now right now has gone into this bracket of prices where I think it's becoming vulnerable. Uh, the market uh, current price midday in Nikkei itself is 28,852. So this bracket of prices between 27,683 to 27,932, I think this is an area of vulnerability. There is a possibility that uh, selling interest may re-emerge from this bracket of prices. So do watch out for that. Uh, possibility here. Over in Hong Kong, we can see prices continue to edge higher this morning. We have get up and the market continues to trade to a high at midday to 20,437. So it looks like this market is unfolding as a three wave rally from the low day at 18,829, possibly targeting 20,800. So this is a three wave technical rebound. And uh, from here, is anybody guess whether you can go higher or trade lower? But at least for the time being, I think the market is relatively firm. Over in China, we can see that the mainland equity index, uh, the CSR 300, is also maintaining a somewhat bullish posture here. Prices uh, hit a low of 3,935 last week, and it has been going up since, and there is a possibility to extend higher into 4,100 to 4,115 levels. So do watch out for this. Okay. Over in energy prices, we saw crude oil prices continue to edge higher. Uh, however, it has already traced out a very neat three way and uh, it is getting very close to an area of vulnerability. This area is $74.08 to $74.54. Basically, I was long going into yesterday's uh, uh, trading as the market go into a high of $73. I decided it's time to bail out on my long position. Not, that, not because I am bearish on it on the oil market, but I think the market may actually pull back. And if it does pull back somewhere to $69, it will give me another chance to actually buy this uh, crude oil one more time. But this time, I think the market may even take out the $81. Okay, so I'm that bullish on crude oil. But for the time being, I think the market has a possibility that it may pull back very deeply uh, to somewhere near the $69. Uh, over in uh, 
goal, we can see goal is possibly unfolding as a triangle. Now, in all triangle, there are five legs to consider. We have A, B, C, D, E. Now, the whole idea of training triangle is to catch the E wave. The bottom of the E could actually end up in a very explosive uh, uh, breakout. And this breakout, if it's in this current structure, it's likely to break out to the upside. Uh, very likely to take out the two thousand and nine dollars high. Okay, so this is a trade in which I am eyeballing. I was originally uh, short in gold, and yesterday I I, I closed up all my long uh, short position, waiting for the unfolding of this E leg here. So as the market go up, do not chase it. Let the market see if the market cannot take out two thousand and three, and it pulls back. That will confirm my triangle and uh uh. uh hypothesis and if it, if it pulls back and cannot take out the this low here which is the most recent low uh, at $1,944.11 that will lay the stage for the E leg of this move which is possibly where you want to be angered for a buy position because this move here will at the very least be worth the entire length of 2009 minus $1,934 so it could be as big as that because the entire width of this triangle is a target for the breakout okay so do watch out for this explosive move in gold market over the silver market we see very little pullback in fact uh, the structure is very very different from the gold market we can see a high of twenty three dollars and fifty three cents and since then the market is possibly pulling back in a three in a simple three wave pullback possibly to twenty two dollars and sixty eight cents so do watch out for the possibility okay over in the dollar index i think the dollar continues to edge lower although i have already turned bullish on dollar actually i was long going into yesterday's trading and now at this current price uh, i intend to load up more long position for an eventual move to 103.52 okay now this move here could be very explosive now this is the bare minimum target 103.53 is the bare minimum target i'm um, so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to hold multiple long position for to take some profit around this range and then to hold up for a breakout above 105.87 so that will be my uh, longer term uh, outlook over in sterling of course you can see a marginal high uh, for the month itself, we have a high of 123.50 overnight as prices are easing back somewhat this morning and uh, upside is getting very limited. I think there could be another push higher, possibly to just maybe above 124 level, that would be leaving the stage for a vulnerability of a pullback, a very deep pullback to test 118. Okay, over in uh, euro versus the dollar, this uh, structure here is even more pronounced, high of 109.30 go down to 107.13 and the market rebound 50% or 61.8% coming to this range of prices and the market high this morning is a 108.50 level okay so this is within my bracket of prices in which to look for additional short position i have already added new short position i'm short going into uh, yesterday's rebound so basically i'm adding more short position because my target is at 105.16 or at least a break for 105.16 over in the aussie market the market basically is still consolidating but upside is also quite limited i think the mid range of this rising channel could be posing a technical uh, hurdle to cross uh, even in the most optimistic i think this 0 0.68 really is going to be a very difficult barrier Cross and uh, I do expect market to come back and retest the 06564 levels in no time. Over a dollar yen, uh, I have not had a position, but I'm actually quite bullish on dollar yen because I think this market can go all the way 137 or uh, 134 and uh, before it comes back down again. So, this is a short term retracement trade if you are looking to buy at a break of 131.90, which is currently what it's doing. Then I think that will give us the, the signal that the market wants to go up. So, the target for our time being is 134. 10 to 135 so if the market goes into this bracket of prices look for selling signal because the market will take out 129 eventually okay over in dollar canadian which i have been holding a short position for more than two weeks finally market went up to my target i was able to exit with a, with a nice profit and uh, now the market is looking to go maybe either way but i'm i am bullish okay so i hope the market can go down a bit lower maybe at 135 to 135 17 area and then give me that one opportunity to actually buy this up to a challenge of 138 15 levels okay um, but if i have a choice maybe i will not do dollar cap i'm a 
is probably put my money into euro dollar okay but over in cryptocurrency we can see that bitcoin has been struggling ever since it got to a high of 29,380 at the uh, at the end of last week uh, the market has been falling and it does look like it's pulling back in a very neat two way upside potential is quite limited at 27,800 dollars and uh, there's a possibility it may actually come back all the way down to 24 thousand okay uh, of course the current climate is that the cftc which is the u.s regulator has already sued the largest uh, crypto exchange which is finance and its founder cz uh, saying that they have operated an illegal exchange so that is hanging over the marketplace so temporarily i would think the market uh, prices will very limited upside more to the downside okay what will cause the market to rally if you ever rally again uh, we will have to wait and see how things unfold okay over ethereum we are basically seeing the same structure prices as pull back in the possible three waves and likely to actually extend lower the market actually went out into this particular of prices and test this most recent high year which is last traded last uh on sunday at $1,800.60. The market went up to a high of $1,799 and then couldn't go any further and now it's stuck. And there is a possibility uh, that prices may actually unravel here almost all the way to test $1,623 to maybe as low as $1,615. So there you have it, uh, all the outlook for the day. Uh, do keep in mind, uh, we have another, another Three more trading days will go before the month end, and like I mentioned uh, previously, um, this month end closing is going to be very critical. Uh, how market close across the board uh, will determine where the market will be getting into the new month of April, which I expect to be very, very important. Okay, guys, uh, in the meantime, be safe, and I'll see you next. Bye bye.